AMP, or Automation Manager Policy-Based Services, are one of the many ways you can monitor in InCentral. InCentral can run an AMP that can execute a command and retrieve the results for monitoring. AMPs are based on PowerShell, meaning they can be run on Windows devices. Please note, AMP-based monitoring is available to professional devices only. An understanding of PowerShell is not necessary when using the Automation Manager. First, you will need to understand how to build an AMP. Launch the Automation Manager Designer. For an example, you can create a very simple policy that will detect and monitor if a device has been incorrectly configured to use a WSUS server for patch instead of in Central's patch management. Name and describe your service. Find the get registry value object and drop it into your policy. Next, we'll need to find the key in the Windows registry. Open regedit and locate each key local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Update, AU, and a value of use WU server. Copy the key name and paste the key into your policy. Select the base value and trim the path. Copy the value name. Make sure to test your service first by running locally in Designer and reviewing the results. Here you can see the value is 1, matching the registry. A value of 1 means a WSUS is in use. Next, we'll create an output parameter for monitoring in InCentral. Upload the service back to InCentral. For more thorough understanding of how to build an automation policy, review the video section on automation. In InCentral, navigate to Administration, Service Management, Custom Services. Here you can add a custom service based on AMPs. Choose the policy you uploaded back to InCentral. Name your service and optionally describe it. Configure the scan frequency of the service. Set your thresholds. And save your service. You may choose to use this service in a service template or by simply adding the service individually to a professional Windows device. You can find more examples of custom services located under Community in the Enable Resource Center.